Uh, so, uh, you guys, right now, once again, it's time for us to do something that no other show does. We're going to find out what happens when you take the head of one celebrity and put it on the body of another celebrity. <laughs> it's time for Head Swap! <laughs> talking about a head swap. I'm talking about a head swap. First you take a head, then you put in another body Like if Charlie Sheen's head was on Queen Latifah's body That's a head swap First you get two pictures of some famous people Then you scan the photos into your computer Then you email the photos to the graphics department But hold on a second, the email is down So you walk down the hall and you tell them in person And you run into Judy from HR And she tells you that the graphics guy just died The funeral's right now think you should come and then it sinks in that you've lost a friend but even worse you won't ever get to see this new head swap <laughs> so you get to the chapel and you pay your respects and you immediately notice that it's sparsely attended there's an old dude and a lady and an agent Humphrey Bogart you go to the casket for a final farewell hey buddy I know we had some fun times Especially when we took celebrity heads and put them on other celebrity bodies. I know you're up in heaven in the graphics department putting celebrity angels' heads on celebrity angels' bodies. It's a head swap. So you finally have some closure and you get up to leave and suddenly the graphics guy winks at you. He pulls you down and covers your mouth. He thinks you're coming, but I'm really not dead. I only faked my death because I had bad health insurance. What? After today, I'm going to come back in disguise. Apply for my old job with dental insurance. Here's the plan. You need to dig me up. But I can only hold my breath for exactly seven minutes. This is crazy. It will never work. Well, you better make it work if you ever want to do another head swap. <laughs> then you all stand around the graphics got grave. Does anyone here want to say a few words? So you do an awesome version of Candle in the Wind, but instead of Meryl Monroe, you say the graphics guy's name and break into an awesome air guitar solo. Then all of a sudden, you hear a beep. Is someone's cell phone going off during the funeral? Young man, I think that was your watch. And your watch alarm says that it's 12 o'clock, which means that you've been singing for over 10 minutes. All of a sudden, everybody screams, holy crap, he's back from the dead. He forgot to dig him up, so he did it himself. And worse, will probably be too mad to ever work on head swap. <laughs> and the graphic guy pulls himself out of the ground. Hey man, what the hell happened to seven minutes? Actually, I was saying really nice things about you. Or maybe you were just hoping for me to die. So you can get my job and take my sweet benefits. What's this I hear about benefits? It was his idea to fake his own death. I just wanted to enroll in a different health plan. You don't have to take your dad to change your plan anymore. You just have to fill out a 732i. I guess I never read those company-wide emails. I'm sorry, Amy, Dad, and Asian Humphrey Bogart. I'm glad we cleared this up and nobody is dead. Now I think the two of you have a job to do. Now that's all behind us, let's all calm down. We'll share a cab and go on back to the office and work on Head Swap. Head Swap. Head Swap. Head Swap. It's funny. We're just trying to have that guy back.